Hi people and welcome to my first Android video um, in which I'm going to be showing you the application, well PS1 emulator for Android and that's FPSE for Android. Now this application has received a loads of updates compared to the first version which I purchased for the Expert Play and let's just say most of these games that I've got on here will just not work. Before I load up any game what I'm going to do is show you what's running in the background. I've got my screencast. Uh, which is recording this video at the moment and the 6 access controller which allows me to use the PS3 controller over Bluetooth which makes it so much easier compared to using the on-screen buttons that this software is supplied with now what we're going to do we'll start off with one of my all-time favorites and that's going to be Team Buddies so select the application and it instantly loads up again there seems to be no lag issue or anything like that. It's just absolutely brilliant. And the sound quality is absolutely perfect. Now, I've got the volume down at the moment. And I'll just turn it up for you slightly so you can hear what it's like. I'll show you a Glaswegian smile, sonny. Fucking bastards. Come on, Frenchie. You and me, now. Ah, go play with the girls. I'll show you a Glaswegian smile, sonny. So as you can see, there seems to be no issues with the sound whatsoever. Now, what's good about this application, <clears throat> it allows you to access the menu while you're still running the game for your quick load saves, a quick save. So rather using the memory card function, you can just use the software rather instead. Change this, instantly change over to a different game. But to be honest, I prefer to go back to the menu and see the covers, which once you put an ISO onto this application, the application will automatically download the covers for that game for you. Now in the settings, uh, you've got a usual case of system where you've got the choice of system settings. Audio, again, to be honest, I've never actually played around with the audio in the video. Uh, I've seen to have no problems with it since first getting the application. The gamepad, now this is where you can change the gamepad type, such as Guncom, analog pad and digital. Now I'm using uh, the PS3 controller and I've noticed that a couple of buttons are off. So I'm just going to re-change this over for you now. So we've got circle, and all I'm just doing is just pressing on the controller which buttons I want to set these to. And there we go. So those have been set to. Now also as well, uh, you've got your miscellaneous where you can save, say for instance, save the configs that you saved the application for. And the BIOS. You will need a PS1 BIOS file for running games. Now, actually, I believe that you can run the games, but there's certain features that you won't be allowed to do, such as saving and that. Now we'll go back, and we'll go back again. And this is absolutely brilliant. So what I'm going to do is going to show you another game. So, sorry, uh, just quit the game. And this takes you back to your game selection menu. Now, I'm going to show you uh, Odd World, because I've also want to show you... Um, <clears throat> the cheat function for this emulator. Now I know a lot of people don't cheat, but to be honest, I I find the game more fun when you do that. So you press the menu, click on cheats, and now it says five cheats loaded, which it automatically downloads the text files from the internet for you. I've noticed you will need to set it to 50 times per frame, and click on enable, so say for instance, well, instability and bulletproof. Let's go back. We'll have a run through, see if we can find anybody to shoot at us. With any luck. There we go. He got killed, but again, no damage to myself whatsoever. So that's brilliant. Is that it's a good function to have, uh, quite quick and easy to use, saves you time having to sort of enter the cheats for Game Shark and stuff like that. Um, and lastly, uh, again, I've got quite a few games on here. I'm just trying to think of which ones, guys, to show you. What I'll show you is South Park. Now, this is a good favourite of mine from the PS1. So instantly I'm straight in and being attacked by Tekken. So let's throw some snowballs at them. Right. Okay, I just want to change some of the settings. There we go. We've got yellow snowball. And uh, we found Kyle. So, again, there seems to be no graphic issues. It just looks like the actual PS1. So, I throw some yellow snowballs at the turkey. I don't want some yellow snowballs because I keep getting attacked. 
So there just seems to be no issues whatsoever with this game. It's this application anyway. It's it's come on leaps and bounds compared to the first version, where it struggled to play such as Team Buddies and South Park. But now I've every game that I've uh, tried for this application seems to be working fine. Ogs of War, though, uh, one of the other games, I've noticed a bit of graphical sort of interference with it. I'll just load that up for you now. I want to see if I can show you guys. This is more with the map textures rather than, you know, rather than the actual menus, anything like that. Again, I thought they were quick save, so I'll leave that. Anyway, guys, that's my first Android video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have, just leave a like or a comment. And hopefully I will be getting some more Android uh, videos up shortly. Thanks for watching, guys.